So we're over here. Dumping some straw. I'll show you what, what we've been doing here. So. Eight grand, so. Welcome back to Renable. I <laughs> uh, did a little bit of uh, soul searching, I guess you could say. <laughs> we have a, had a farm here. I was trying to use the straw so we could put it into the animal pen. So just at least that big forage wagon. Oh, yeah, I still got some more. Uh -huh. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to get some bales. i got some more bales down. we got some grass bales i got to pick up. Let me show you what's happened here in the last... A little bit since last time I left y'all hanging. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you know how we had that those two fields way down yonder to the Timbuk Timbuk twenty nine forty three sixty eight. <laughs> anyway, um, you can see the field up there that we have the hay or the grass bales on the silage bales grass wrapped silage two become silage bales. If I could speak properly, it'd be amazing. <laughs> so, we took care of something. Um, you can see field 46 down the bottom left is uh, coming into our, our range. It was, uh, really sorghum was on there. So we grabbed that, took it over, of course, to grain mill, and it's producing stuff. So, so either which way. Uh, yeah, sorghum was there. So we had to take care of, and I had, um, we had, let me check something, did I bump something on accident here? I think I bumped something, I was probably like, oh crap, did I hit something? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so what we did is we just went ahead and we sold these two fields, 102, 103, I mean, it was one field set up. It's 167,000, we ended up purchasing this, which is 120,000, so we about 30, 40,000 different. So it's not a terrible amount. We may actually made a little bit of money, but we got a field right next to us now. We don't have to go all the way down there. So that way we can do this grass in one. And actually, I might switch this to the grass field, to be honest with you, because this is a pretty good sized grass field here. Yeah, because this is five hectares. That's three. Hmm. hmm. And part of that, that might be an idea right there, because this is 8.6 acres. It's the field. This one is 14. So yeah. Sweet. I think we're gonna switch those around. <laughs> oh, that's right. Speaking of which, look at that. I have a cedar right here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Leasing it from my farm when I planted all the fields over here. So. As we got these going, he I, I plowed these together, made one big grass field like, like I talked about last time. So that's really nice. Uh, two, I'm just gonna go the wheat fields up there for now. Yeah, um, so we're going along, we're moving along with that, buddy. And the cows, looks like not name, maybe not next month, but the month after. We're gonna get some baby cows. There's gonna be 24 of them, and I think he's gonna keep the babies because he likes to keep the uh. The younger ones, he's going to give me, well, I don't know if he's going to give me all 24. Give me half of the, the females, the, 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 the mothers. So that'd be nice. We'll have half and half, and then I'll have the rest of the babies. And, of course, I need to also give him some money for the uh, other parts. But, yeah, no, that's not a bad idea. I just, just now thought of, I'll change this one to whatever crop I feel like. <laughs> I'll talk to the guy. I mean, I don't want to just start doing it either. So, um, because next we just harvested it. So this is all just basically a blank slate again. So this is some oats or canola. I think we're going to do some, uh, some wheat or barley in there. Do it like we did across the way there a little bit. Something, something. Because we already have... Oats. I think there's some, yeah, 15,000 oats. The horse is not eating the oats very fast at all, as you can tell. Give him a little bit more. But either way, we're, we're rocking and rolling here. Yeah. 
Cool. All right, so let me get these bales up. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this, and uh, this would be the grass field over here now. It's not a huge difference, but this is definitely going to be a smaller version. That's what was lime... Uh, no, 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 not lime. This was... Uh, is it canola? Yeah, there's no soybeans on here, is there? Yeah, canola. There you go. Figured that one all on my own. <laughs> Don't mind me, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anywho, I'm going to get these bales picked up. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw... Yeah, that's going to be our new grass field. Plus... I don't remember if that's part of... The, uh... This field or not. I don't think it is. I think it's part of that one. But, if anything, we could throw shed, shed or something right in here. I don't have to keep dragging it across the way. That'd be perfect. It is part of it. Yeah, right. That's bloody great. <laughs> so yes, 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 yes. So cool, we'll plant that there. Then we can go ahead and put the grass silage, store it in there, and that way it's across the way. This is going to be much more better. Like I said, I did, I did just have a little discussion with you. So I know I, I, I said I have to talk to him, but we did discuss a little bit of it. And there's a whole reason why we did what we did here keep things closer and now we're gonna make it even better so go around here because that's dumb but i'm gonna go ahead and get this taken care of uh yeah we're gonna swap these fields out that'll be grass this will be uh i think we might just do wheat again since we got wheat across the way then we have just wheat 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 wheat, wheat, wheat. and grass <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and get this all picked up um I think I'll throw that shed down here in just a minute, too. So we'll take care of all that, and I will be back in a little bit. So we will see y'all in a few. Alrighty, they. And so we got some stuff going on up in here. As you can see, I kind of did some striped shots. <laughs> so we're putting, uh, we got grass over another side over there. So we did get the grass field planted on in that area. Got a little shed down there for. And it's got solar panels, so we can make some mola off of it. So, yeah, yeah. Well, not me, but Mr. Farm Bob over here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're throwing some wheat down here. So, all three of three of the fields that between him and I have will have uh, wheat on them. So, so, that'll work out pretty good. Um, I had a couple spots that were off, so I had to use the plow to kind of chop them down real quick. But. It's all good. We're just planting through the grass here. Uh, this is direct drill, so I don't have to go through the whole process of tearing it up a lot, which is pretty nice. I didn't use them for the longest time. I did the, all the process plow, cultivate, plant, call, blah, 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 blah. boy. Makes sense, but direct drilling is so much easier. Just push it in there and boom. Done, son. <laughs> Makes it a little bit, a uh, little bit less uh, daunting, a little, little less uh, deal. But it worked out. So I mean, either which way, I mean, it, it's working. It's we're, it's great. It's great. Yeah, you can see the field over there too. So, so very, very good. Um, grass, and then we got some splotches over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn this guy around. I'll show you what I got going on over here. Yes, we're good to heal. Perfect, 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 perfect. Says some weeds. So we're going to need to do the weed chopping in the morning or next day, probably. So the same thing over here. Perfect. The grass, so it's good. But we got this uh, got this guy put in over here. This one got stuck on the little edge here, so pushed it back. And then, yeah, whatever. Let's try doing this. It's got the silo thing on it, but I mean, it's only a little bit fermented so it's not much but this would be nice a little grass field over here we don't have to, you know, now it's planted all we have to do is mow it fertilize it more or less and then lime it once in a while some people said they don't lime them but if it asks for it why not right you should get a higher volume at least so that's good that's very good 
But uh, yeah, this is coming along. We'll get the wheat down in a wheel. And like I said, we'll go into the next month here. And then we'll go ahead and lease a weeder for all of our farms to get the weeds knocked out. Just be done with it. There's nothing showing right now, but since we're planting, I don't I, I don't know if it's going to on the grass field here. Because this has been grass field for a while. And we never got any weeds on it. Which was pretty interesting to me. But um, Other than that, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get weeds. If we do, then hey, we do. But if not, then we don't have to worry about it. Yay! <laughs> but either way, um, it'll be very, very nice because uh, we'll be good. Um, now, he, this farmer hasn't had. I mean, he, he had the fields down below, of course, so. But made most of the money off that side because it kept cropping up, cropping up. Boom, boom, ba -da boom, ba -da boom, ba -da boom, boom. I'm missing something. Okay, I think we're good. But, uh, yeah, so that's going to be nice to have a little... <laughs> kind of spread out over there, but... Might actually... I don't know. I keep thinking ahead on this map, on this field, but I'm a drifter here. I got the land. About to get some cows, and I'm going to probably move into another location, so I don't want to put too much thought into this because it's going to be, well, now I'm here for the next 16 years, you know. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's awesome and I definitely want to come back to it, but I need to move on. Can't hold me down. <laughs> so yeah, that's 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 the drawback of it. It's a very beautiful area. I like being here, but being a, the drifter whole situation, got to move on at some point, so We'll come in and establish it, help somebody out, establish their own farm area. We'll throw, you know, like I said, we get the cows in there once uh, once they're produced within a month or so. Once you get some babies in there. And then probably spring or summer of next year, we'll be out of here. I'm debating on if we're going to wait around for harvest. More than likely, we'll wait till harvest. And after that, take a little motorcycle trip to the next location. So we'll see. We will see. Like I said, we'll have this location here, so it's not like I mean, we got a farm. We got to come back at some point, but the gentleman here will take care of it, of course. No, obviously, because I've been helping him out, he has no problem helping. And he's got some family and some friends around, so good people here. Good, good, good folks. Good neighbors. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we'll be a okay. But uh, yeah, this is gonna be. Be sad to leave here once we get to that point, but again, we got a couple more. Definitely some, several months before we go to that point, so we'll see what we get. And of course, who knows? Things could change. But at this point, we're doing fine. We're doing fine, fine, fine. Um. Well, yeah. If there's anybody that has any suggestions where to go, somewhere close to here, hopefully. I mean, I don't mind taking a nice ride somewhere, but. I mean, there's, there's some places I'm thinking about, but i got some suggestions to be all good, too. Always nice to hear what everybody thinks, the best times, best parts of the year, whatever. Anyway, we're going to finish getting the wheats done here, and then we're going to go ahead until the next month and get the weeders out. Slap some some uh, some herby side down. <laughs> and then move on with our day. So... And by that point, we might actually get some, uh, like I said, we'll get the animals coming up. Next month should be at 90%, and then November we should be having, should be leasing a truck to haul some moo moos. <laughs> but either way, I'm going to go ahead and finish it up, and uh, like I said, we'll move into the next month and get the weeder out, get these weeded up, and ready to rock and roll. So we'll see you next month. All right, so we got the little weeder out here. <laughs> this little massy is pretty nice. I mean, we can see where you got. The, I gotta go over and knock mine out too. But so we're we're, we're working with things. I, I had leased the uh, planter because I needed it originally, and then he uh, released the plow that I needed for just a little bit, and then all the the. The lime he bought, the lime for you know, just little things like that. We're we're working together to, between the two farms, which which should be. It's nice to be neighborly like that. 
if somebody needs something and one of us has it, hey, let's borrow each other. And then uh, next time, hey, I need this now. You want to borrow it too while you got it? Boom, done, son. <laughs> so it's working out. Uh, this is a pretty not nice little Massey. Pretty inexpensive too, which is nice. But uh, and for what it is, it's actually pretty nice. It's kind of almost homemade looking. <laughs> This has got a nice thing. It's only like 40 grand instead of 240 grand. So, <laughs> and you get the narrow tires so we can clear it out. And bam, you can see it's killing the weeds very, very precisely. It doesn't have the precision spray like the, some of the other ones, but it's all good. Don't need all that crazy dust, you know what I'm saying? And once the side of the change is, we'll be able to. We do need to feed the animals, as you can see, now we're the next day, uh, see, our 90%, yay. So we need a little bit of TMR and silage, so once the silage turns, I think we'll go ahead and throw most of that batch in there. I don't know how much we'll be able to put in, even though the, because that was a pretty good size batch of, uh, silage there, but either way, uh, the nice thing with that, with this field, and we got so much silage out of it between the, all the times, the hay and silage that we needed. Wow, that's a little bouncy. Sorry about that. A little articulation because we wobble wobble. <laughs> wobble 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 to our farm up over in the corner, up over yonder. <laughs> Take a look at that. Um, then we'll go ahead and jump on the horse. The horse of the horse, the horse of horse. But its name is not Mr. Red. <laughs> at least not here, it's not, so that's good. Oh, I actually didn't need the lights after all, too. But yeah, um, because, yeah, the Mr. Nevada over there. Needs a ride, man. Needs to take a ride. The countryside. <laughs> Sheep are just pumping out like crazy too. I mean, geez, please. Yeah, it's nice. So let me go ahead and go over there. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look. Oh, you can see the grass coming up. Yeah. And over here we got everything's good to go. Soil perfect. Perfect. Yeah, we got these guys just hanging out over here doing the fermenting thing. Cool. About halfway. Just about halfway. I thought about it. I mean, uh, talking to them and going, hey, do you want this plot next to you too here? Because you, know, you got pretty much this whole little section, but no need to get crazy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we left some of the straw in there. We didn't sell it off because we can use that to dump in for the cows as needed. So that'll be good. Um, it's cool. We got another pallet here. I know, I know. Quit your crying. Oops, Daisy. Oops, Daisy. So the sheep wool is gonna be to be sold pretty soon too. This is pretty good. Get through the winter times probably a little more before we get to need to do that again. Guess you the best spot to put that bad boy. Bam. Come on, baby, just hang on there. Just hang on. Bam, there we are. <laughs> All right, so then we'll go ahead and take the horse, Mr. Nevada over the hill. We'll just jump the fence because we don't need to go crazy here. But yeah, this is going to be a new little, kind of a refresh, you know. Instead of going all the way down, I think the best thing is instead of going all the way down, I mean, this is a pretty good size map comparatively, but this part of the farm that having these fields way down here, this is kind of nice being right here. Boom, boom. Across the street, you got, boom, done. Good to go. And then, uh, like I said, this one here, but see, it does come up with a lot of, uh, this forestry. If it was just the field, it wouldn't be so bad. But either way, it's all good. It's all good in the hood. 
So yeah, we'll go ahead and do that, and uh, we'll take the horsey poo. Take Nevada out. Jump the, almost jump the whole yard. But yeah, it's gonna come along pretty well. Got some weed over here, some uh, some wheat, and then some grass. So this would be a little bit less of a grass field, but we'll still get some good bales out of it. And then of course the crop sell be able to utilize the straw as well a little bit extra so it'll be very very nice so uh we'll get the sides bills going and go from that point but uh hope everybody enjoyed and having a great day don't forget to like subscribe say hello let me know how you doing let me know what's going on in your world hope you have a great day morning night evening whatever you got going on where you're at while you're watching this thank you so very much for watching i appreciate it it's been a blast playing on all these things just having fun doing these videos, so. Any suggestions, any thoughts, let me know, too. We're all here to have a good day. <laughs> Thank you again very much, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.